Aze tuto uli kwa pani nani Na tuwabeshe babo kamati nani Success, knowledge, tie pani Bela kubebo, uwa wako ni sensor Eh tuta wabantu, eh tuta wabantu Uwa wako ni sensor, eh usa kama nabantu Eh usa kama nabantu Hi, the following video in today's discussion will comprise biology paper 2 but the topic at hand and under discussion is excretion when we talk about excretion we are talking about the removal of toxic wastes from the body either from the kidney the liver or the lungs such substances can include carbon dioxide urea excess salts and excess water follow closely as i share with you the structure of a kidney and other to be relatable questions in an exam concerning a kidney. Here is a question. Figure 1.0 show the longitudinal section through a human kidney. So like in this case, we have an example of the structure of a kidney. The outer structure is called the cortex, while the sensitive part is called the medulla. Then we are going to comprise talking about the category of blood vessels that are involved. We have a blood vessel which is showing that there is something or an entry of something into a kidney. Then there is this blood vessel which is showing that some of the substances are taken away from the kidney into the body. So it's either we have an artery or a vein. Now under a kidney, we are going to talk about renal vein or renal artery. So the type of a blood vessel that we will show the coming of the substances into the kidney will be called a renal artery, as this will bring oxygenated blood to the kidney. And then this will be the renal vein, which is going to get some new substances back into the body. So then we have questions. On A, we are saying, identify the blood vessels Q and R. So we are saying Q is renal artery. Then R, we're going to say is renal vein. How were we able to clearly identify that this is a renal artery, this is a renal vein? We simply were able to clearly identify using the arrow bits that are here. So this arrow is showing the incoming of substances and that should include oxygenated blood which is important for the normal functioning of the kidney and other important substances. So this should be the artery. Then this should be the vein, meaning the substances which are filtered out now are taken away. Then when we talk about part labeled S, we should know this is a ureter. When we talk about the ureter, that is connected to the urinary bladder and in the bladder there is excess salts, there is excess water, there is urea, collectively these form urine. So let's continue. So B, steps to waste substances that are likely to be present in the liquids which pass through structure S. You cannot answer this question properly and correctly without having to understand the part labeled S, which in the first place I thought was very important to understand. I said this is the ureter, this is a duct that connects the bladder. Hence, from this, we are going to have excretory products, those that are toxic to the body if they are allowed to accumulate in the body for longer periods of time. Hence, we can give an example of urea, then we can give an example of also excess water. Then see, suggest two methods of how a person with kidney failure may live normal. By the way, when we talk about kidney failure, we are trying to talk about a condition experienced to the body when one or both kidneys malfunction. To malfunction is to stop functioning or working properly. When a kidney stops working properly, it may be due to poisoning, it can be due to smoking, it can be it can also be due to fatal accidents. Like in this case, when we talk about kidney failure, we can treat kidney failure in various ways, but most importantly, there are two suggested ways, and the first one is by having a normal kidney transferred or gotten from a normal person called a donor and given to the person who is affected, hence, that is called kidney transplant. 
Then we can also connect the same third kidney that isn't working properly to a kidney dialysis machine. So here we're going to say through a kidney transplant, through a kidney transplant, then we can say by a dialysis machine, by a kidney by a kidney dialysis machine. A kidney dialysis machine is a machine where we connect the third kidney so it can filter out some substances. Then kidney transplant is a biological process under which we are going to get a normal kidney from the donor, be able to relocate it into the body of the affected person. Then lastly, D, step two processes that occur in the kidney during urine formation. When we talk about urine formation, there are substances such as glucose and proteins. These substances shouldn't be able to be in the urine. Let's give an example. Suppose glucose should be present in the urine or in the blood. We are going to find that when it is present in the urine, definitely a person can experience diabetes mellitus. And as a result, glucose is one of the essentials that is needed in the body for the process of respiration to take place successfully. Hence, we are going to try talking about, when we talk about glucose, immediately the kidney senses there is the presence of glucose in the liquid that should be filtered out as in terms of forming urine, there is selective reabsorption. Glucose should be selectively reabsorbed back in the bloodstream where it will be essential for production of energy and in the cells for respiration. And also, there is ultrafiltration. When we talk about ultrafiltration, we are talking about this is the filtration of small molecules such as water, so, so that these substances can go to the ureter to pass through so that they can be able to land in the urinary bladder to form urine. So the processes I've mentioned is selective reabsorption. This is a biological process which talks about important substances that shouldn't be able to be found in urine, hence should be selectively reabsorbed in the bloodstream. Then we are talking about ultra filtration, where small molecules such as water, excess salts, urea, and other toxic substances should collectively by the kidney and be able to form urine. So the correct answer here, you can say ultra filtration. Then lastly, we can be able to talk about selective, selective reabsorption. So there is ultra filtration, then there is selective reabsorption. Otherwise, family out there, biology is about subjects. But most importantly, these are some of the questions that have been liable to come in the previous years. Hence, this is a very, very major and one of the most important topics to highlight in terms of wanting to stabilize and solidify the foundation. Otherwise, when you see a kidney, be able and make it your target and a priority to be able to identify this is a cortex, medulla, this is the ureter connecting to the urinary bladder, this is the renal artery, then this should be the renal vein. And then talking about substances that are toxic that are found in the kidney, we can talk about urea, excess salt, and also excess water. And as a result, and as such, we should be able to find and be able to understand what it entirely means. Grab a paper after watching the video, try relating the same concept with the previous exam-based questions. Otherwise, keep believing yourself. Till next time, for this very moment, it's a good bye. As a tutto, only company nani. Sense that we shiver, but come with nani. Sense success, knowledge, tea pani, bella kuve babo. Uwa wa koni sense. Eh, tutta wa bantu. Eh, tutta wa bantu. Uwa wa koni sense.